Hello, my garden friends. Uh, I just finished cleaning out my can of worms for, I don't know, the hundredth time here in uh, 12 and a half years. And uh, I normally have taken you along when I'm doing it outside and shown you the three. Um, the, the bottom is the well and the worms do come down in there and I get loads and loads of castings and they're uh, kind of almost like a black pudding. I know some of the systems don't work that way, but this one seems to. And then I took that bottom tray and it was completely cleaned out and it's now the top tray. And this is what was the middle tray and this is what was the top tray before. And those will now be, you know, processing food. This one was almost ready. And then this one was what we were throwing in daily. But I wanted to show you what I do with my top layer. And that is everything has been cleaned and scrubbed. I've been having a little bit of a uh, mite problem. So I wanted to make sure that everything was really clean. Uh, this is right off my kitchen. So I'm a little um, careful about how I keep things. Uh, you might wonder why I have them in little cups, and I wanted to tell you that. I didn't know if I ever said that before. But when we first bought this, uh, the place where we bought it, and we actually went to a, um, a worm farm, and um, she said, uh, sometimes depending on where you put them, uh, ants can get in your worm bin. So I thought, I think she was referring to if it was outside. Um, I don't think in my kitchen I'm ever going to have that. But I must say that it keeps things neater and cleaner. Those legs go up into that bottom uh, well and they are perforated at the very inside so that there's air that gets into that bottom well, keeps it circulated, just like there's air in the top uh, can the, t the lid of it and so the the worms can get air wherever they are but i have kept those just in the there's five legs and i've always kept it in there there was one little trick that they said if you have yours outside and you are bothered by ants put a little bit of oil in the base of it because even if the ants do crawl up and then crawl down to get up the leg they fall into that oil and, you know, suffocate, drown, what have you. And uh, it's, it's ant death. I can't help it. Anyway, so what I do is, now this is the top layer. And I'm going to pull this back. And you can see, you can see all of the uh, holes that are in this. And it's nice and clean. So what I'm going to do, I'm not even going to wet this. I could, but I'm not going to because what I'm putting down is already wet and the worms can just go ahead and work on that. So I have lots of stuff that was I've been collecting in the freezer. And that's one thing. And then I have to do this one-handed but uh, coffee grounds that I'm going to put on there and then I use my filters and I use that kind of layer it around and each day it gets a different little design there but these get eaten up very quickly and then I use twining tea and if you look up twining tea at least I did back when it says that it does have a little bit of um, plastic in this tea bag. So what I do is I just open it up and empty it out. It's all emptied out. And I throw away the, the bag part of it. I do have a little bit of cornmeal. And let me just spread that about. little bit of cornmeal and eggshells. Fatten them up a little bit. And then do 
these are some of the worms that I pulled out of that well. And there's probably, I didn't count them this time, but I would guess there's probably somewhere between about six and 800 maybe, could be more than that. Felt like pretty close to a pound actually, but maybe not. But you can see there, and they were all in that bottom well. But look at the size of them. I mean, they're, they're a good size worm. Uh, I didn't see, it was interesting because in the bottom well, I don't see any eggs. I didn't see any wisp. I was very, very careful in trying to look and see who was where, you know. And I didn't see any. So uh, anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. And they will be set. And I'll put the lid back on now. I'm so pleased everything was clean. You know, it's like, I wonder if they realize it. I doubt it, but you can see the, this has holes in it too. And I've shown you that before. And this just sits right down on top of it. And you make sure that the little indentions that are, let's see, can I show you that? There, you see where the little indention is? is here you want to make sure that those go on each side and that way it fits snugly on here and there's no escapees and then oh i just uh, the spigot i cleaned that out and this was the leachate that had been draining and now we'll turn it back on and if anything's going to drain out it will and so that's it that's it. Another another job well done. And uh, it's Friday and I'm ready for the weekend. So uh, Florida is, as my husband says, Florida is open for business. Come on down. And so uh, it's going to be in the low 80s today. So I'm glad I got that job done before it got too, too hot. So garden what you've got. Um, I hope you'll come back and see me. I hope you'll uh, subscribe to my channel. I love doing this. And it's fun to share. And if anyone has any questions about the worms or how I take care of them, I've been doing it since July of 2009. And uh, they, the last, our last pet died and I needed another pet that was carefree. And these worms are just about as carefree as it gets. So take care, everybody. Garden what you've got. I hope you'll come back and see me again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.